a lot of the friends are facing issues with chat gpt upgrade and in this video i'm going to help you with all the questions all questions answered and resolved so without any further ado let's just start with it first uh, is this offer permanent no it is not permanent it is for a limited time period so make sure to upgrade it before the offer is gone bro upi option isn't showing in the payment method the one of our friend asked this and uh, yes it is showing now earlier there was an issue that upi was removed but now upi option is available and it is working so you should try using upi now next is why does it show 399 on the last step so if you are using upi you will have a request of auto pay approval like this and it shows that auto pay limit is up to 399 and this is for the future it's a limit it's not the amount you will be getting detected when you proceed with it you will have a notification like this that okay your payment of by the way as i said they deduct one rupee and this is the payment that they will be detecting and they set an auto pay uh, request which is like of 399 and this set up the auto pay they don't deduct any amount and this is how you will see like you will be able to see this final request and the transaction of one rupee and this is where you can use the pause button and cancel button you can cancel the auto pay from here so let's say after 12 months uh, you are not willing to continue then you can cancel it here is upi or debit card payment safe yes it is safe they use a third party tool which is called stripe it's stripe is very known payment plat processing platform so uh, payment won't be having an issue there so yeah it is safe and secure uh, what if 399 actually get charged so in this case you need to uh, like one of our friend he asked it took 399 and cancel auto pay and i also cancelled the chat gpt go uh, will i get my money back yes you will get your money back and uh, how to do that is just simply go to their official website uh, which is uh, this i'll link it in the description you can just go to the site and this is where they have all the refund related queries and steps you can just reach out to the help center and they will be able to help you with this if it is genuine like they will be able to refund and process it within five to seven business days what happens after 12 months so after 12 months let's say if you want to continue and you you keep your auto pay on then 399 rupees will be detected if you turn your auto pay off or you cancel the plan then uh, there will be no deduction from your end so yeah this is what will be happening next our uh, one of our friend is like at payment pin stage it's showing 399 for mandate means what i do is refundable so 399 is, is for mandate and it's not the amount that is being charged here so uh, it's not like you will be getting charged this amount it's just the mandate as i said earlier it is just for the mandate purpose that whenever this happens the maximum limit of deduction that will happen is 399 rupees how to manage your subscription if you used card so i've asked i've been asked this question a lot that okay i subscribed using the card how do i cancel it how do i pause it how do i manage my subscription and for that what you need to do is simply go to your chat gpt account and here on to your profile section click there click on settings and click on the accounts and here you can manage your subscription by clicking on this button and uh, if you're using card you need and you if you want to cancel then you can just simply cancel it from here if you are using card you need to cancel the subscription you can't uh, just pause it okay you need to cancel the subscription and if you want to if you don't want to get charged after a year then make sure to cancel it before the end of the year that's technique right okay next question so for the upi users you can go to your upi app and for the auto pay mandate that you set up you can just cancel it or pause it right uh, but if you are pausing like chat gpt will be having their integration with this payment setup so it's a month on month uh, charge so it's not like uh, you will not be charged for a uh, year so invoice will be created month on month basis like as you can see the next billing is on december 5th 2025 and if they don't find any payment method into uh, this system they don't find any active payment method attached to, to the system then they will cancel your plan or or they may restrict your access to the premium account so yeah, make sure to have it attached and uh, you can set a reminder for yourself after a year and then if you don't want it you can cancel it this is how you will see in the upi app for the upi users by the way you can just click on this three dot and from there you can delete it or you can remove the upi setup there and yeah i hope i answered all of your questions if you have further questions just leave it in the comments leave a like and subscribe see ya